I just want to remind you guys, uh, if you guys were listening to Francis Chan's sermon, he talked a lot about the, uh, the Bible, you know, how he was saying how we should read it, and, you know, and actually, like, really, you know, be sincerely, sincerely, be sincere in your reading, and realize that, you know, all the words that you're reading in the Bible is from God, you know, and while I was listening to it, b- before the youth got there, and I was thinking, you know, you know, we're, we're not really, I mean, we're thankful for, like, the clothes we have, the money, and the possessions we have, you know, for thinking for the friends and everything, but sometimes we forget to, you know, thank God for, um, for his grace, you know, for his forgiveness, uh, for his words, you know, for his son. Um, I know sometimes that gets overlooked a lot of times. So I just, I just want to remind you guys, you know, it's kind of a blurring question out there. If, if we didn't have the Bible, and we didn't have the truth, you know, what, what kind of world would we be living in? <laughs> and, uh, I just want you guys, I just want you guys, when, when Thanksgiving comes around, you know, to, re- to look back and reflect on uh, your lives, especially your spiritual lives, and see how far you've, you know, grown, and, and, and every time you, you know, you've been, you bookmark something, like baptism, or, you know, maybe that one night when you, you know, repented, whatever, you know, that, I, I want you guys to uh, just thank God, just for, uh, thank God for, um, for um, being there with you, for you guys, um, for growing you guys, for, you know, allowing the Holy Spirit to, um, to dwell in you guys, and especially for the Word, and, and especially uh, for His grace and His love, because without it, uh, we'd, be, uh, we'd, we'd be condemned, eternally condemned. And uh, lately, Koo, Koo, Koo and us, we've been having, uh, with the youth, we've been having Bible studies, and we've been talking about, like, salvation, and, like, predestination, <laughs> free will, and all that stuff. And uh, the, the other night, I was going through Facebook, and my cousin, John, uh, he, he posted something, and he goes, you know, be thankful for not a fair God, but be thankful for a forgiving God. You know? And I was like, no, that's true. Because, you know, when we see things, you know, when we see someone young die, and we're like, you know, how is this fair God? You know, you know maybe this young, promising person going to grow up, do, you know, awesome things for God, but then... You know, maybe their lives in short, and we question, you know, how is that fair, God? Uh, we tend to fr- we tend to focus on fairness or whatever. So let's be thankful for for a forgiving and loving God, and let's not lose sight of that. Okay. Uh, so right now, I'm just gonna uh, open it up to you guys. Um, just just uh, I, w- I just want you guys to uh, just talk about what you're thankful for. Uh, anything that's really just on your heart or your mind or anything. So I'll just open it up and then whenever it gets really quiet, I can just end your prayer.